Welcome to Jimodism Total Notary Channel. This is a little nice tutorial of how to use Discord text customization. How to use different styles in text in Discord, italic and bold and stuff like that. So let's go right into it. Let's begin with bold. To make bold you need the star. And then you can make something italic I mean. If you want to do bold you need two stars. Uh, and if you want to write italic, you use one star, or you can actually use underline and another underline, and you'll get the italic. Works the same with bold. You can replace these with stars, like this. It's also italic. Right, so what more can you make? Of course, you can make something bold italic. And uh, to do that, you use simply three stars. Fantastic. If you for some weird reason would like to do strike through, stricken through text, you'll need to use the squiggly line. Two of them. And uh, this is either above your tab or left of your enter key. And if it's left of your enter key, you need to use the Alt G or key. And uh, well, there we go. You can of course combine this with uh, above use ab above styles. Now, uh, there are actually some more versions or types of text you can do. How about spoilers? Well, you know this straight line that you can like write? It's like a straight line just. It's located uh, just right to the shift key. You need to use the alt G arrow key to that too. Uh, at least on Scandinavian keyboards it looks like this. But it's a straight line. It's not an I, if you wonder. So this is a super secret. So to see this, we need to click it. We can't, you know, whatever we do, we can't see it. If we click it, it appears, which is nice. Uh, and uh, I think it disappears if you like. No, oh yeah, it disappears if you leave the channel and look at like some other channel. Oh well, and there is some more stuff you can do. Uh, and uh, for this you need to use a really weird key. You know the apostrophes that you can do cool letters with if you click them once and then click a letter. And uh, yes, you can do like this. Wow. Uh, the regular apostrophes are not cool. For on the Scandinavian keyboards these are located uh, at the same line as uh, 1 to 0 numbers. And then we have plus and then we have the apostrophe key and you need to shift click that once and then you can write yes some text you know and then you just shift click that again so it's the reversed uh, apostrophe key uh, and if you for some reason like to do a block of text you'll need to use the reverse uh, or and uh, not the normal apostrophe anyways. You need to use it three times and then you just uh, spam it three times more and then you click enter. And then you have a block of text and you can put, I don't know. It looks kind of cool. When you do this, it looks like you have an important message to say. Anyways, that's just a little bit quickly how to use all the different types of... Uh, there are actually a little bit more, but then we're going into web code. And if you want to see that, you can ask it for it in the comments. But this is not normal people use and it's, you know... I think these styles are perfectly fine. So, well, enjoy your new fancy styles. And uh, remember, subscribe, like the video, and share it to your friends that might want to use this. In any case, this is Jim Total Nerdy Channel, officially signing out.